Hey guys, what's up? Uh, this is the first prop build I've ever done. Uh, what you can see here is a lot of electrical equipment and a tape recorder that has actually not got anything in it. Because what I tried to recreate was the tape recorder that Jackie uses for speech within within Payday 2, character DLC of Hotline Miami. So what I did is I saw someone else who had done a similar thing, and they unfortunately didn't tell that many people of what happened. So I did myself some research, which I'm gonna guess is probably about... 15 hours if we're counting sourcing the parts and investigating all the little bits and pieces And so what we've got here is we've got several things firstly a clusterfuck of wires That is all just red wires I would advise you if this is your first job to get new colors of wires for negatives and like other things like that because I mean ground wires because I Can barely see this and I'm doubting that you can either and you're an angle So what we've got here it's a fair few parts. So to start with, we've got a speaker. This speaker was taken from the insides of a of a children's toy from uh, from B and M Bargains, a UK discount store for about five pound. The the gun itself, I'm going to use for a different prop layer. Uh, but if you would rather just buy speakers, uh, this is a rather small one. This was uh, this is a 1.5 volt 8 ohm uh, speaker that came in a four piece set. I don't recommend it, but I think you could do it in tandem. Uh, I've got some new speakers coming that I'll most likely be uh, switching that out with. Then we've got a amplifier module, which if I were to turn it around right there, there you go. That's how it looks. Uh, as you can see, there is a four pins, uh, four pin connector here, which is two to the 3.5 millimeter jack that's connected into the into the uh, uh, sound effects board, which I'll go on to talk about. And the yellow and the brown here are going off into the board itself onto the power rail. And that is connected to a battery pack. Now what you're probably going to need to be able to run this and why I chose to run this because I'm pretty sure I won't be running it too often as well as it was recommended on the website for this little baby. Is three AA batteries within a battery pack which I got a lovely one with an on off switch on the thing itself. So if I really want to I can just open it up with a screwdriver that I can bring to an event, I just outside of an event at least, and leave a screwdriver with somebody, and I can turn it on, excuse me. Then what we have is we have the sound effects board. This is an add a fruit product, which is the, let me just bring up the camera and it'll be shaky cam, but you can see the board itself. That is an add a fruit, uh, add a fruit audio FX soundboard. And what that lovely thing does is it can store sound files it can play sound files and it can output them to an audio device, i.e. our speaker right here. So you can do it through a 3.5mm jack if you get one version, or you can get it with a... with... I believe you can have some header connectors similar to this right here, where these two headers out of the ampl amplifier module uh, lead to the speaker right here. I'm doing this mostly as a... as a... this is what I wish I knew where, before I learned this project. Got two cables here that are connected around to the power rail to connect it all the way up to the grid. And we've got these 11 buttons. So, I'll show you the sound quality with both speakers, both this small one and both the other one and the children's toy. But, let's, uh, let's start it up. As you can see, there's a lovely little LED on the board here to show you that it is indeed powered. And there's also an LED on the uh, amplifier module to show you that that is also powered. I'll do my best to leave the uh, model number for that amplifier right there because I like it I like it a lot I think it's very space saving and it outputs quite a lot of audio with some really terrible speakers so let's uh let's show you what this sounds like so as you all know of if you're here you should know what jackets tape recorder sounds like or I might actually edit in about here And if you're not seeing it, then I'm lazy. But if we hold up the speaker to the microphone right here and we press this first button, this first button is set to hello. Hi. Hello. Hola. All 10 of these buttons output different sounds. There are 11 triggers on this device. So that means that basically you can have 11 buttons that can have phrases, but you can have a ton of phrases if you, if you get the file size down. Because these can hold um, OGG, and uh, MP3 
files? No, no, dot .wav. Wav files. And so what I've got in here is actually a whole bunch of files that have been all set to each of the triggers. They have a naming convention, you can do the research there, but it's all on the Adafruit website for this product. Uh, and it fits really convenient in. It's also got a mini USB, a micro USB actually, that would usually fit into an Android phone. So if you really have a spare cable lying around, you can just plug it straight into your PC through that. And the files come on just so simply. What I've got here is I've got a lovely, let's get that in frame. I've got a lovely Panasonic RQ2341, RQ341 cassette player slash recorder. So what I did with this thing is, uh, firstly, I found it online. I, uh, the other person I'd seen make this product had um, had used a very similar uh, model. This is the 341A, while well, he used the regular 341. Um, and I basically got it. It was it was too much with shipping. But if you're in America, you could probably pick one of these up for maybe like the equivalent of 15 British pounds. But if you're in the UK, I picked this up for the equivalent of about 30. Um, you could probably try and find something of similar similar values. Let me just do you a favor because I'm pretty sure this all can fit within this module. So I'm actually uh, within this shell. So I'm actually going to do some tape measuring right now just to tell you how big this is. So you can think about what you might want. Uh, the size to be of yours. So this is 7 centimeters or 6.75 inch. And 10 centimeters near about, I think it's actually 9.7 centimeters. And close to 4 inches, I think it's that's like a 3.9 inches. Sorry about going off from the microphone a tad there. So this is all should fit within this shell. It's a lovely, lovely thing. Um, when I took it apart, all the machinery inside, I had killed this thing. <laughs> because where it has, you'll see here, it has a DC power port. Uh, I used an AC adapter that didn't like it. And by didn't like it, I mean this is a 6 volt port and I gave it 18 volts of power like an idiot. Uh, this thing also has like a lot of really giant screws and a lot of like all that. And because this thing was made in the 80s and was meant to be repaired, it's so easy to slide out all the insides, all the innards. So you probably could find something very similar uh, within the same same vein uh, for your for your project if you're making this or something similar. Um, I'm trying to think. This this project overall, it set me back, uh, minusing the intense shipping costs for things like that. It set me back maybe 70, 80 British pounds. This is a big estimate. Don't quote me on that. Uh, a ton of wires, a ton of heartbreak when I was like, okay, so this wire stripper doesn't work, this one doesn't, this one doesn't, so on and so forth. And overall, it's just really good. Um, to demonstrate what all these buttons do, so our trigger one is hello, obviously you've heard that. Our trigger two is... Oh, that's just... It's number two is thank you. Number three is... It's various help. Uh... Assistance would be appreciated. Yeah. There you go. Number four is... Because obviously you have to, because how else wouldn't you? Uh, you can outsource the... Um, you can totally source all the voice lines online. There are tons of people that have already asked for it on um, various subreddits. I believe the Payday 2 subreddit actually has a post about it. Uh, and... Was it four? Yeah, five were on now. So we got take care and goodbye. So I've made sure to like try and get at least three uh, voice lines on every single one of these apart from the do you know what time it is and another one that I've got. Number six is... Which should be lovely on the convention floor when it's just like, what a lovely day, right? And everyone's just like, ah, I see what you did there. Uh, number eight, if no, seven, because I can't count. It's a yes. Unfortunately, there is no no, and I really wish there was a no line. Uh, number eight is going to be... Uh... I really enjoyed that. Yes, I really enjoyed that. Number nine is going to be what I made, which was a cut-down version of Coconut Silverlights. This microphone does not... I mean, the speaker does not pick up all that bass. It just, it just spills it. It just vomits out there. 
Have you ever heard anything so gross? And finally... Just random scratches, and if I hold down the button... I can get tons of scratches happening. Now, we should cut here, and I'm going to be doing this with the other mic, uh, the other speaker. Okay, hi, we're back with uh, with the brand new speaker right here. It, it came as simply as just unscrewing the headers right here and putting in the new wire right there. And so this is why it sounds like as well. Okay, so this is actually a pretty good project for me. Uh, I started out with basically zero electrical knowledge. The only thing I knew about was basically wire stripping and some kind of standards when it came to sort of like live and ground wires. Uh, I started out also not knowing how the hell the cassette player worked and I ended up staring at the insides for far too long and hot gluing in the tops, uh, the tops right here, as you can see, possibly. No, you cannot at all, but still, if you watch that wiggle, that wiggle is all because of hot glue. It's a fairly simple build. Uh, you just got to stare at diagrams, search up all that stuff. Um, and yeah, I believe that's over and done with. I'm ready for a con season, and I hope that someone else comes up to me with the same tape recorder, and then we can just have a conversation with just tape recorders, because that would be... Hilarious. I thank you very much for staying around and listening to me ramble about this wonderful little piece of tech. And good luck with your own projects, or good luck with your day, because you're probably not actually going to make this because it's far too expensive. Jesus Christ. <laughs>